All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Overly Modded Repentance. Today we're hopping in as Eden because I feel like playing Eden, basically. He's fun. He's fun for Overly Modded because you start with random stuff, which could be modded. It's not, but damn, is this a fine start if I've ever seen one. Good tiers, good damage, good speed, good items, bad shot speed, good range, good everything, good, good literally like everything in the entire game. That's, um, we like that. This is going to be a good run. I mean, we have two red hearts, one soul heart, plus an eternal heart. Uh, so that's basically three red hearts, one soul heart to start with. This is one of the... Oh, also, we is that Beth's heart? Because Beth's heart's, like, good but scary. Yeah, we start with a modded trinket, which basically makes it so as you pick up soul hearts, uh, instead of, be, instead of like, being a soul heart, it has a chance to convert to a battery. Though I, I feel like they changed it. I thought, I thought they updated the mod, but it might be a new mod altogether. Um, no, that's definitely the exact same uh, thing I had before. So they probably released a, like different version because i know the best heart is based off of a like not added familiar that was supposed to eat soul hearts and turn them into batteries i believe um and the trinket which is based off that uh unadded item it's just uh it's just a trinket that doesn't have a familiar involved at all you just kind of eat soul hearts and sometimes get batteries uh which not batteries but straight up charge which is okay um it's definitely good having golden is weird sorry to adjust my mic there and i'm sure it sounded like that but yeah, having a golden variant is weird. Well, we have uh, the sack box thingy, which is nice. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Though, just keep in mind that when the soul arts... Ooh, quake oats, uh, we're never going to use... Oh, no, now we're never going to use quake oats. We're never going to use uh, sack, sack ulter because uh, we're taking quake oats. Quake oats is just nice. It has some good synergies. Um, as you hold it, it, it's like a passive item because watch here. You should see some rocks fall. There they are. Or you can press it and have like a lot of rocks fall. Those rocks get your tier effects, not tier modifiers, so no brimstone or anything like that, but tier effects like poison, uh, even hemolacria account, so it can get pretty crazy. Uh, some tier effects are obviously really good, and since this is modded, there's even like a bajillion more tier effects, so Quake Oats is just one of those items that you want to see. I'm, I'm always happy to see it, never, never I'm like, oh boy, Quake Oats, what an what a underwhelming item. Does it do a ton of damage? No. Good hit. Does it do a ton of damage? No, but it's obviously like, it's free damage. And when you activate it, it does, like, a decent amount. Okay, you're, you're the guy that likes to exchange cards for other cards. I don't care about Temperance, so what do you say about Temperance? Uh, two of Pentacles. I mean, it's like... Oh, was that our Sun card? No, that was two Pentacles. Charge Penny. We like it. Wait. I read that completely wrong. We don't like it. I thought Charge Penny was a, a passive item type card. Because there are, there are some cards that just straight up turn into passive items. We started with good stats. Let's change that. Really good rate of fire and barely lost any damage. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, we did lose some range. Oh, we're completely fine. And the, the worst part is the uh, the speed for sure. The speed did suck, but like, whatever. I'd take uh, 0.78 fucking speed to get six rate of fire on the first floor any day. Um, yeah, this, is, this run's already off to like a wild start. 3.67 damage. I believe that's higher starting damage than Tana Blue Baby, unless I'm wrong. Um, so it's really not that bad. On top of that, having a six rate of fire to compensate, like, if you're complaining, I don't know what for. It's just good. Uh, but this is Quake Oats. You can see how much damage it does here. Also, we got two charges of it for some reason. I think, I, I don't know. I, I actually remember this item doing this a lot. I'm not sure what the reasoning is for. Uh, but yeah, that that's the item. Very loud. Very screen cluttery. There's a lot. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on with it, but I do love it. Little Steven, welcome. We'll go down for This mod, this, uh, this modded episode is already turning out nice. I definitely like, uh... Any modded episode where we start with anything modded at all tends to be fun. And I noticed I see a lot of items from the collection mods, which is weird because, like, they don't even make up that large of a percentage of, like, modded items in comparison to, like, uh, Ipecac community mod and stuff that I have installed for other modded content. So, like, it's weird that I consistently see this, uh, this, okay, listen, not the best use of a sun card ever, but this room is super annoying. And the fact that we still have to fight these two already annoys me. I'm, I'm completely happy with that. Little Devil, welcome back, my friend. It's been a few episodes. Maybe it was actually last episode now that I think about it. But, you know, we let... Really? That's not... You couldn't... Okay. Um, yeah, we like Little Devil around here. Unused fills in all the pits in the current room with the robbers. That's completely useless. Two of flies. We'll take, we'll take two flies, right? Not great, but it's something. Uh, oh, this is an XL floor. I didn't even notice. We will... It's modded. Let's get a little wacky. We don't have to worry about our streak uh, because, you know, we're <laughs> there is no freaking streak. We don't do streaks in modded because modded is kind of hard. 
I'm also noticing not a ton of modded rooms, but it goes more than the higher luck bonus you have. That's probably better than uh, Beth's heart with the with the current like with the current thing we have Quake Oats. Beth's heart's kind of trash because like Quake Oats just it's not the kind of an act item you need 24/7. If, if we had like not Book of Reds, that would be a horrible example. Um, if we had like even Book of Sin or something, something that you want to use inside of combat as often as possible, that's where that's where it shines um, for sure. But something that you want to use in combat, I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Like, imagine we had Tammy's head. You don't want to trade Soul Arch with Tammy's head. Let's do it again. Oh, there goes our fire rate. But honestly, not a bad... Our tears are... I mean, our speed is just horrible. But um, our fire rate isn't bad. And our damage went up. So that's not bad. Um, we, we've, done a, we've done some risky maneuvers so far. And they have just worked out every time. But we've just been getting lucky. And I, I don't... I still don't really know why... Um, why Quake Oats is just like an infinitely chargeable thing. Uh, I should probably read what it does at some point. Sun card, we got that back. Teleport to the boss room, stat for the boss room, that's not bad. Bum one beggar of each type, that's really good. 10 to 16 bomb bottom King of Spades, I don't care. Um The Sun card's still probably the best one here. Uh look, look, look. We like damage. Now have triple shot with uh de like could this, yeah, this is good rate of fire and decent damage. That's not bad at all. Um, we will keep the tower card on us, because I think it's going to be good for melting a boss, and we're going to be the lost between the bosses again, so that is perfectly fine with me. Also, at some point, I'm going to cut in the middle of this episode to eat, because I made food, then started recording, and I, I just, in my head, I was like, oh, it's fine, I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'll just pause. And now I'm kind of living by that, because I have a whole ass chicken... We need to hit that fire. Ah, uh, but no, but there's no point. We'll go clear the rooms first. Yeah, I have a whole ass chicken patty next to me. And I really want to eat it. It's... Explosion clouds shouldn't be able to be set off by friendly fires. I'm just saying. It's it's one of the dumbest parts. But it's why I don't like... I see you. It's one of the many reasons why I don't like Tainted Blue Baby. Tain with Tainted Blue Baby, uh, if you... This is a huge room for us. Remember when I was just like, oh man, our fire rate went down? We have 4 point... This is so broken. This run is already fucking fantastic. 4.29 uh, rate of fire, 6.23 damage with, uh, with triple shot. That's insane. And we're about to get two more boss items. That was bad. We'll use one more bomb, honestly. Not great, but okay. Why don't you the year? Uh, me... Okay, this basically means uh, every enemy will, like, sort of get a friend. Well, they'll have a friend system going, and every time you hit an enemy, like, all enemies have friends and you walk in there. Every time you hit an enemy, their friend will also get damaged for less damage than the original copy. But yeah, when you're hitting something, you're also hurting something else. I like Black Doll. I think it's nice. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Let's go touch that white fire, which I believe is up here. Then we'll do the... Uh, and we'll probably cut before we do the bosses. We'll get to the bosses, then cut, and then uh, I'll eat my food and then come back. I really want the chicken. I'm like... I can smell it. I can taste it. Because I'm not going to lie. I was hungry. Okay, I haven't eaten today. I got two chicken patties. All right, but I already ate one before recording. And I was like, that's fine. I'll eat one, record, and then eat another one. But if I need to... Like, if I get super hungry, I'll pause. And, yeah, it's it's been... Uh, about eight minutes into this recording now, yeah, and uh, I'm already at that point where I'm like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat that now. Two soul arts is huge. Uh, obviously, by the way, speed stat, abysmal. Uh, we have two extra boss bits coming up. We can hope for a bit of a speed upgrade, right? I don't think that's too unreasonable. We get, like, the belt or the spoon or something, and then we'll be chilling. If we don't get it, the damage stat... I mean, the speed stat, dude, it sucks. But because of our damage per second with the, the tier rate we have and everything that we got going on, I don't think it matters. Also, if there's a restock machine in that room, we're not going mother. So that's like a, that's just a free item right there, uh, which we'll gladly take for sure. Let's see. Did the restock machine stay? Mm, I was really... Because it stays in uh, in shops. Watch. It should be here. Yeah, so like you can use this to kind of do this. Oh, we saw Steam Sale. Bad option. Whenever an item would spawn, spawns another one with zero quality. Okay, that's really good. So this means we're getting double item spawns per item, but the second one is always zero quality. And sometimes zero qualities aren't even bad, right? There are probably some good zero quality. Curse of the Tower, I believe it's a quality zero. If not, what the hell? Um, but I believe it's quality zero. I'm just, I'm sure there's some good quality zeros out there that we'd like to have. And if we never choose a quality zero for the entire run, it didn't really hurt us. It just cost some money. So... That's perfectly fine. I think, dude, we are so strong for the point of the game we're in. And this is what I mean, as you see here, we get Sty or the Bean. We're naturally gonna take Sty, but it's not bad at all. <laughs> I 
Oh, I like this tower card. Brown nugget or this. Hello, Gigabomb. You shouldn't hit me. Bombs are friendly, I thought. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna... <laughs> I get Gigabombs are different, probably because the rocket shoots at. This is our tears now. This is just crazy. Hey, was uh, too much reading to do. We're gonna grab the sun card anyway. Let's go. Okay, uh, I actually rather we're gonna pause, but we're gonna cut real quick because I would like my food. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. I am still the lost. Don't forget about that. Holy shit, that was such a good chicken patty. You know when like, you know when you're looking forward to eating something and then you get to the point where you eat it and then you're like, that wasn't that good. Definitely, that was not the case right there. That was everything I had hoped for and so much more. I, I was lazy today, in a way. I mean, I did some YouTube stuff. I started up a new series. A series that, like, it's supposed to be YouTube short, but I don't know how YouTube shorts work, so I, can, I completely fucked it up. Um, I wanted to test the YouTube shorts. I thought it'd be fun. I definitely need to get a capture card for this series to actually be decent, quote-unquote. But uh, I am doing a Pokemon Shiny Hunt where I try to get uh, Shiny Turtwig, who's one of the worst hunts in the game, for a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, by the way. Um, and I'm only allowed to do one reset one encounter a day there should be a okay i guess soul heart drops aren't guaranteed but yeah um i'm only allowed to do one reset a day and for those of you who don't know pokemon very well uh just so you understand a little more unless they're done right probably just so you understand a little more the, it's a one in four thousand ninety six chance to get the pokemon the shiny pokemon and all shiny is is like a different color palette for once again those of you who do not know pokemon just a different color palette for the pokemon one in 4,096 chance. That's a while. Each reset takes about two minutes for a starter. So you have uh, about 8,200-ish minutes. 8,190-something minutes uh, it, on average, you know, if you're going by odds. Uh, now imagine you do that every day. Well, that means you have about 4,096 days to get a shiny on odds. What's 4,096 days? Roughly like 11.2 years. Oh, wait, we're not going Angel Deal. Let's just drop that. Oh, uh, yeah, rough, roughly like 11.2 years. So, if I get an on an on odds shiny, I'm going to be doing this for 11.2 years. And I highly recommend you just kind of check out the series. Just to pop in every once in a while. Say, I'd be like, oh, damn, you're still doing this, right? I, I think it's going to be fun. It's not a series. I'm, they're not even fucking monetized or anything. That one's just me fucking around. Um, I want to test that YouTube shorts, see how they do. Uh, and I also had to figure out how to make the YouTube shorts. I think what happened was, if you upload it as a short, but it's over a minute, it's just not a short. I think that, I think that's all that happened. And mine was a minute, two seconds. So I got to cut off the beginning. It's going to start, there's a cutscene area where you're, you're entering a door like this, right? And you, you're in the door and then it pops up, says some text. And then after it says some text, you press A, says a little bit more text, you walk through the door. I'm going to have to start the shiny ones from right after you walk in that door rather than right before, because... I thought right before it was perfectly timed, but it's actually like a second and a half over the limit. So, unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see the whole restart. I mean, you can't even, you're not going to see the menu either. Because, like, we'll take that key for a soul heart. Um, but yeah, like, there's a... Wow. Imagine the quality zero item actually being, like, better, in my opinion. But both being disgusting and not good. We'll touch both of them. Oh, no, we won't. We'll touch one of them. Uh, and then go away. But yeah, so that series is going to be fun, I can tell. Uh, it's going to be annoying because recording it. Once again, I'm recording with a camera, not, not with the fucking capture card. And to be honest, I just, I don't have, like, I could buy a capture card, I'm sure. And uh, I think I have, I think I know which one I'm getting when I buy one. It's just, it's not, it's not easy to buy. Like, they're not free, right? They're not free. I have to spend money. And I, I'm going to be, if I were spending money on, like, I'm gonna spend money on a webcam. That's one of the reasons I don't want to buy a, uh, a capture card. I have to spend money on a webcam, but that's different. That's for my streams, which are part of my job. At least that's how I see it. And uh, I'm not like I'm not, I'm not opposed to spending money on something that will make the money back. It's an investment. Spending money on the Pokemon shit. I'm not gonna be making anything off the Pokemon shit. So spending money on it's like meh. I mean, like you know, <laughs> I hope that adds up. I hope that makes sense to you. Because I just, I don't want to spend money on something that isn't going to return anything, at least. I think that's completely fair. One day we'll get a capture card, I'm sure. But it won't be for a while. Maybe like my birthday, someone will get me a capture card, right? I think one of my friends would probably be down for that. But my birthday isn't for a fucking while. So, like, I'm talking, uh, it's in August. Right now it's January, so. Uh, we'll probably be doing the hunt still by then, if we're being fair. I mean, if we get it by then, we're, we're lucky, so... Poop was almost better. If, if we didn't have an active item, poop first box. Box, like, what do we get? We got some consumables that we don't care about. Like, <laughs> I didn't really care. 
Okay, we, we like we like concussion. Concussion is an active item that goes in your pocket active slot. While I don't like pocket actives, I love concussion. And concussion is a pocket active that if you accidentally use it, it doesn't affect you in any way, so it's okay. Um, I'm just concussion, like look at this. A, having two active items is fun, but B, boink. Like, if you just slap people, it's not the strongest thing in the world, but it's definitely fun enough to want. Oh yeah, Quake Oats just destroy everything. Yeah, I'm still not confident why... Like, look at that. Every time we use Quick Oats, it's just like, oh, yeah, you're good. You can use it again. Why not? Hey, have fun. Go wild. I'm okay with it. If I can use it in every room, I'm fine. Maybe it's like a... I don't know. We need to figure out what it is. We need to find an active item and actually read and see if it says anything. Problem is, I don't think it says anything. Like, like right there, it didn't charge itself. There has to be a reason. There's no way it's just, like, chance. Unless it is just chance. If it's just chance, that's weird. And I'm fine with that. But, like... I would still just like to know. Uh, I think it might have done something with a uh, number of enemies or blah, 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 or how much damage you've dealt that room or blah, blah, blah. Something along those lines, I guess. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like if it was something like that, it would be kind of intuitive and you'd, you'd notice. But I'm just not noticing a pattern here. Donation machine? Looks like we don't need a donation machine. <laughs> Fucking Creed. Creed, you're even in my modded series. You're just infiltrated. The only series he has that infiltrated is the Pokemon series. That's the only one. Other than that, he's in every goddamn series on my channel. Oh, not the Minecraft one, I guess. That one's pretty old, though. And not the Terraria live streams I used to do. Okay, Creed, you're safe. Never mind. He only he only infiltrates every Isaac series, which, that's fair. One day I'm going to have a Pokemon episode just dedicated to talking about Creed for no reason, like I always do. Okay, uh, we're going to do it off the shop, because to be honest, I cannot be bothered to actively think about where it would actually be. Yeah, okay, I didn't think it was here, but like it also felt like it would be easier to check here than to look somewhere else, so I don't regret my choice. Like, what if it was all the way to the right, you know? I, I probably wouldn't even go back for the item room. Here's the thing. Whenever we already have, like, whenever we get a one run, I'm lazy. And right now, I have a feeling we have a one run, so I'm going to go for a <laughs> quote-unquote planetarium and totally not just skip the item room because I'm lazy. Who are you? Hello? You get absolutely schlapped, to be honest. Get schlapped. What an idiot. This concussion item is so much fun, and Quake Oats is weird because it just likes to work twice. Shade or Met? I mean, Shade's almost better, but Luck? I like the Luck stat is the thing. So we're going to take Magic Scab. Moving on. Um, yeah, Shade's not even... I know a lot of people don't like Shade. Shade isn't good, but it's not bad. Like, it doesn't do anything wrong. He just kind of exists. He has free damage just very occasionally. And that's like... Hey, free damage is free damage, and I personally don't like to complain about it. I think, uh, I think it's good. Like, what, what's he, the worst thing he could do is if there's a bomb fly right behind you chasing you, then he could really screw you up. That goes for, like, and no one hates Demon Baby for that reason. Well, I'm sure there's someone that hates Demon Baby for that reason, right? Like, not many people hate Demon Baby for that reason. Um, so why do you hate Shade? Well, oh, but he never touched anything. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Uh, Hashi is... I mean, fine. Like, <laughs> I like his reskin, but I don't like the item. I think the item is very boring, but whatever. Uh, anyway, let's try to do a question of the day type thing. I feel like I've been forgetting a lot of those recently. Um, what's what's a good question of the day? What? <laughs> I'm so bad with questions. Every time I think of something, I'm like, oh, that's really good, and then I'm like, oh, no, no, it's no, it's not. I've already I've already said that one, and we're at that point because I've done like at least 40 questions of the day i want to say somewhere in that neighborhood trash bag spawns either quick of it may not lose it's just random got it uh trash bag let's uh let, let's get rid of these fires you don't take any more dumb damage come on see the spiders the flies uh around them. dude it can spawn fucking Dude, it can spawn items, so we're keeping it, and I apologize, Quake Oats, but, like, you know, we got it. If we get Hemolacra now, I'll be very sad, but Trash Bag has a 0.2 chance spawn items, and we're gonna see items. Okay, we're, we're looking for items, we're gonna find them. Uh, anyway, we're going with question of the day. Uh, what's your, what's your, what's your least favorite boss in Isaac, okay? What is your least favorite boss in the Binding of Isaac? Mine would be Baby Plum, obviously. Fuck Baby Plum, he's literally just, he's a disaster, right? Baby Plum is, is just rude. Just a bad person in general, not not nice. And and you know what? Some people are just like that. Robo baby, of course, naturally the exact familiar I wanted to upgrade. Well, Steven, holy shit, we're get we're getting all the upgrades today. That was really good. I don't know if we I don't know if any of our other familiars are upgradable, but we're totally gonna. I know Little Devil isn't. I remember that from experience. 
Okay. Got a maxed out little Steven and a maxed out Robo Baby. Uh, we can check what they do. In fact, we we're gonna we're gonna check what they do. All right. I can already see Robo Babies leaving behind little mines, which I like, and I'm gonna assume little Steven did that. All right. Let's. Uh, how do you check with the controller? It's left stick. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Inventory. In case you didn't know what the encyclopedia was, you can check what all the upgrades are. Uh, hitting enemy has a chance to create a fire of to fire a ring of tears. Killing enemy has a chance to fire a ring of stronger tears. Range of shot speed down, damage up. Increase chance to kill to fire uh, tears. Okay, so basically, uh, enemies when they hit or die uh, spawn ring of tears that can spawn other ring of tears. Upgrade. Eggs uh, apply random effect to enemies that walk over them. Higher chance to spawn eggs. Eggs spawn blue spider. Okay, that's the uh, blue baby baby spider baby is not as good, but like. He's fine. The eggs will, they'll exist and they'll be there and they won't hurt us, so they're okay. But the little Steve one seems really good. Slot real machines may spawn, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We're going, we're going for speed run mode today. That's it. Oh my god, the day, all oh, the damage. I do like little devil boy, but I, I wish he was, uh, I wish he would do more damage. Not more damage. I wish he'd be like, get upgraded to be able to do more damage. Because it's kind of sad that he can't. Uh, Skatol, we could take Skatol, that'd be very funny. If we just took Skatol instead of actually getting the Polaroid a negative. Fruitcake is very fun. We like fruitcake around here. Mom's Razor and Meat Cleaver aren't very good. Money because power is fine, but not great. Larynx is really good, but we have a trash bag. Uh, we're taking fruitcake because I think it'd be funny. Fruitcake, high rate of fire is just never a bad thing. It's just, you get a lot of wacky stuff happening. And in the Binding of Isaac, the best thing you can ask for is to have a weird run. If your run is weird, your run is good. Simple as that. I mean, not always true, but it's usually fun if it's weird, and fun is just as good as good. But okay, uh, back to the question of the day, which I, I kind of said, and it was a joke. Baby Plum is not actually least air boss, okay? I, I, Baby Plum sucks, but that's different. At least, Baby Plum is fun to beat up, right? And that's better. My lever boss is probably Great Gideon. I just, he's not even a freaking boss, dude. You just, you, you fight enemies, not him. You, you don't ever actually fight him, so he's not even a boss, but he classifies as a boss, and I really don't like him. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely say Great Gideon for my least favorite boss. I've said this on stream before, I just, he is disgusting. He's not fun. He, he's a good idea, okay? I'm not saying, oh boy, Great Gideon, what a disaster, I can't believe you guys thought of that. Like, God, go, go get better brains. No, like, good idea, just not a fun execution. I don't know what you could do to make it fun. Maybe it just doesn't fit with the Binding of Isaac for me. But like, once again, I do like the idea, I just didn't like how it turned out, um, simple as that. And I, th I think a lot of people feel that way. All, all it is is some weird greed mode that's like worse than greed mode, you know what I mean? And like, I already don't love greed mode, so you're gonna give me a weird greed mode that's worse than it? Uh, not something I'm gonna be a fan of, naturally. Also, this uh, boss rush is great, because it's actually giving us way more charges than we would have gotten. So we're getting even more chances to get that 0.2% item drop. We will get it. We will get that freaking item drop. Or at least we will try as hard as we can. Oh, every time this drops a uh, battery, I feel super happy. Because once again, every battery, another chance for an item. And we love 0.2%. We love those odds. We love those odds. More than okay with it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Robo Baby, obviously, not Robo Baby. Sp uh, Robo Spider Mod Baby is obviously basically uh, carrying the entire team right now. Uh, he's sure, I mean, we have. We have fruitcake, so we can pretty much apply any stat effect in the game, but no, 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 he's applying them, which makes it good. A spider mod, I, everyone loves spider mod, at least that I've heard of. I like him, but I don't see all the hype. He's like, I like the health bar, and he's cute, but like, you know? But, <laughs> but, but like, it's, it, like, come on. <laughs> he, he's actually like, really helped me once, where like, I was in a bad situation, he froze a boss, and like, might have even saved my life. But like the amount of other, in the entire, every time I've gotten him, he's only saved my life once. Well, every other item, for the most part, that I just call good has saved my life probably more than once. So, I don't know. I, I get the love, but like, also I don't get the love. I feel like he's overloved, but also, but can, can something truly be overloved? If you love something, you just love something. Where are we gonna go on the black hearts, by the way? Is that, I feel like that's Spider Baby mod, because, I don't know, like, he just, he feels like the kind of guy that gives you black hearts, right? Feels like the kind of guy that's been helping you out more than you could ever know. There's no, there's another black card. He's not even around. Oh, I am so sorry, Pestilent. Do we just have a chance to find, maybe it's Fruitcake doing something weird? Fruitcake giving us some sort of like, what's it called? Serpent's Kiss tier, I guess. 
Or maybe there's just a modded uh, effect that Fruitcake is giving. It's weird. I don't know. Whatever it is, I like the fact that we're just getting black hearts constantly because that pretty much guarantees we win. So I have no problem with that. Can I point that we still have 0.65 tiers, which is hilarious? Give me the item. Bam. Not tiers. I'm at speed. Uh, that That's like the best uh, purity boost you can get, in my opinion. Tears are so much fun, especially once again with fruitcake. Having fruitcake makes tears so much better because like if every tier effect is random, the more tears you shoot, the more tier effects you're getting, the more likely to get Godhead and Holy Light, stuff like that. So it's just fun. Uh, we're at 22 minutes after doing boss rush on the womb one. Sorry, womb XL, which means it's going to be even faster. Uh, this run's basically completely over. Like we it was, before we even started spawning black hearts while killing enemies, this run was kind of over. So add that on top, and we're, we're absolutely living. Oh, but look, it's my least favorite enemies in the game. Euthanasia and an E... Oh. There you go, the womb's over. Got it, okay. Didn't think the womb would end quite so fast, but I'm fine with that. We don't want the pony, but we also don't want that. Listen, we want our 0.2% chance. Just, there's, there's another black heart to spawn an item. Some of you might say, that's not a very high chance. He's never going to get it. Oh, well, I can't wait to prove you right. Well, it's, <laughs> I can't wait to show you that you are absolutely right. I need to try, though. That's the thing. Yes, I might never get it, but how would I know unless I tried? Oh, what is this? Cross of chaos. That means that come close, you become tripled. Your tears can also trip them. Raise lose their feet time without 16 seconds of losing it. Okay, so not good at all. Oh, gusty blood is so good. That's so, so good. Okay. Um... Hush is just gonna take too long, I think. Yeah, we're just going up. We're just, I, I would do a hush, but I really don't. I don't think the hush fight is interesting for content. It's just me kind of like struggling to talk for five minutes while his boss armor makes me want to die. And that's like, uh, if it was a, like, I think hush is good content on scarier runs, but like on a run where you're like, okay, I've already won, I don't think hush is at all good content. It doesn't add any fear or suspense. It's just kind of like, hey, I'm hush, fight me. And like, that's not great. Though I love the whole uh, gain tiers and speed when clearing, uh, killing enemies in a room. I think our tiers cap is uh, stacked. Not stacked. Uh, capped, however. Oh, no. We can still get up to five from it. Okay. So we can't raise our tiers much, but we are raising our speed. And that's genuinely huge because we still have a really bad speed set. So I'm, I'm okay with that. And yes, we are taking a lot of damage. Yes, I don't care. Um, it's like whatever. Oh, that... The enemy teleported in front of me is one of the tier effects, and that's not my fault. Um, we'll, we'll get some black hearts eventually, like right there, just from killing enemies. So, like, we can take damage. And then once we want to stop taking damage, we'll stop throwing. Simple as that. Um, it's one of those situations where we're, it does not matter if we throw, right? Like, we're not losing this run, no matter how hard we try. And we're kind of trying. We're <laughs> and we're, we're not trying, but we're not not trying, right? We're not trying to win. Do you see the damage we're taking? Ooh, that was a pill. Could have Yeah. It's just a pill. Who cares? Boink. Oh, they spawn the ghost boys. I hate that enemy. One of my new least favorite enemies right there. That's interesting. They spawn... Like, the ghosts aren't, like, the worst enemy in the game, but boy, are they annoying as hell. We're just, we're just melting everything. Also, look at the... I think the eggs are so cute. I thought they were bombs at first, to be fair, but I still think they're pretty cute. <laughs> but I, sometimes, hey, sometimes eggs look like bombs, and sometimes that's a good thing. Dude, concussion is so much fun. Okay. Uh, no deli. I don't want to do... Ooh, we missed a black car. I don't want to do the entire void floor. Void floor kind of sucks. The, it's, the void floor really still needs work. I believe they are reworking it, if I'm correct. Uh, but I hate it. There's a good There's a good quality zero item. But what is this? Oh, I don't even light the candle. It's a good, that's a really good quality zero item. Uh, 120 volt. Yeah, so now we look like this. Which I think is just so much better. Which I... <laughs> I love Cursed Eye. I think it's one of my uh, one of my more preferred items in the game. I'd say it's top at least 10 items for me, which isn't like, yeah, that's not a ton, right? But that's, 10 is like a good amount. 10's a good amount of items. Ooh, ow. Okay, that was our own tears hurting us. That's fine. Let's let's make a pact. We're not going to lose this run. We're not going to throw. If, if, if we start to get in trouble, we'll slow down a little. We'll try a little harder, okay? Um... I'm still not worried about doing that. Tech Alpha is, like, really good. And it's going to be really, really good for this run. Like, watch this. Ready? Oh, yeah. Tech Alpha, we, we had it for the first time, like, yesterday, I think it was. Not yesterday, but last Overly Botted episode. And it's, like, it's an item that's situational. Okay. It's an item that's situationally really good. Um, but most of the time, I feel like it's only going to be okay. But, like, we're in one of those situations where it's just really, really, really good. 
Uh, this is gonna be one of the... Oh, I took damage from the freaking tears hitting the wall. That sucks. <laughs> That's just annoying. What are you? It's not a black rune. You're not a black... Don't... That's not a fucking black rune. Don't even try me with that. I know what a black rune looks like. Now, the game's gone from being nice to actually lying to me, and I don't like being lied to, I'm not gonna lie. I had some experience being lied to, and I think it's always very mean. And I would rather if the game stopped. I've seen, like, bla uh, black runes, I'm right, right? Because that, that's not a modded rune. Black runes are real, but that's a modded rune, clearly, because it, that, I've ne never seen that texture in all of Isaac, so gotta be modded, but that's just weird. Glitched heart, we, that actually really helps here. Okay, it helps like the uh, it helps the least amount physically possible, but it did help, and helping is helping. So so whatever, um, I'm not gonna complain there. This run is so great. <laughs> just look at this, it's just so good, and like the lasers obviously are pretty cool too. Even if I didn't, fuck enemies that you can't see till it's too late. Um, but even if I didn't have the lasers for this, I would still be loving this because it's just the low shot speed's really funny. So. A uh, $3 bill on top of fruitcake with what we have going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. This is our laggiest overly modded run. That wasn't on stream. We had a we had a stream one that was like 20 times more laggy. But that was different. And it was hilarious. <laughs> and it was really good. Okay. Just look at the damage. Just look at the damage, right? We never got trash. We had to pay with an item. One day we will, I'm sure. Today is just not that day. All right. That was the episode. Great. Fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Over the could be so much fun. That run was, uh, that run was crazy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I will see you next time.